More rain means more flood water left in homes for a second time this week for people living near River to Pear. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas is speaking with people in University City about today's rain and how that's impacting the cleanup efforts that started on Tuesday. Mallory. So we're right next to River to Pear, and I want to show you. I know it's kind of hard, but maybe if I stop. You might be able to just hear how quickly that water is flowing and all of this rain is just causing more problems for people who live right next to River to Pear. That sound is a race against time, trying to pump water out of the basement faster than it flows back in. It still takes an emotional toll every day, thinking about it, looking at it, especially when the water starts coming in again after you've spent so much time trying to drain it. Today's rain brought about five inches of flood water back into Brian Ebbinghouse's basement, an area that he just finished pumping water out of and began the cleaning process. I am past the point of crying and being sad about it, and I'm, tr I'm trying to joke and make light of it. Um, I called the, the trash company yesterday and I was like, hey, my trash cans decided to take the lazy river down to Cabo. Uh, can I get some new ones? And some university city homes still have water from the first round of storms on Tuesday. The water is like I would say about up to here in the basement. The water, like I said, in the basement was cover, would cover you. I could go down three steps. Beverly Thomas has lived here more than 50 years. It's the fifth time her house has flooded, and she hopes someone can prevent the river to pair from flooding into homes in the future. When it's closed, it stops the water, and the water fills up in this cover sack. Beverly and Brian both say as soon as they finish up with the repairs on their homes, they plan on just moving away from the river to pair and just entirely out of this area. Live in University City, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.